This time, it's the tragedy at BSA. Now it's difficult to underestimate BSA's contribution to the war effort. Not only did they produce over 120,000 motorcycles for use by the military, they also manufactured more than half of all the guns used by the British Army in World War II. So it's not surprising really that the factory would be in the crosshairs of the Luftwaffe. And so it was that just five days after Coventry had been blitzed destroying the Triumph factory, the BSA's turn would come. Because on the evening of Tuesday, the 19th of November 1940, a raid of some 440 German bombers flew over Birmingham. They dropped 400 tonnes of bombs. The main targets were, of course, the Spitfire factory at Castle Bromwich, the Lucas Electrical factory, and obviously the BSA factory. Many of the workers at the BSA factory continued to work at their tools even while the raid was going on. However, as the raid got more intense and the bombs fell much closer, they thought the best thing was to try and make their way to the shelter. Unfortunately, the workers never made it to safety. Two bombs struck the factory, destroying the wing where the workers were. 53 people were killed when the building collapsed on them. One of the group was pulled out alive, but the rest unfortunately didn't make it. 89 were also injured, 30 of those seriously. The raids continued for the next 11 days, and in all, some 796 people died in the Birmingham area, and 2,345 were injured. 20,000 people were made homeless. The raids continued between 1940 and 1942. Some 1,852 tonnes of explosives were dropped on the city, making Birmingham the third most bombed city in Britain, after Liverpool and, of course, London. In the aftermath, the tragedy was covered up, for fear that it would badly affect morale in the city and in the wider country, of course. The factory would be rebuilt. Production of BSA's side valve M20 was virtually unaffected because they were able to farm production out to different factories. Rifle production was, however, affected and it was three months before production would resume of rifles and the Royal family would later visit the factory. And this really does give some measure of the importance that BSA and the surrounding area had to the war effort. Tragically, although 53 people died at the BSA factory, no memorial has ever been constructed there. Today, only a very small area of the factory actually survives. Some have said that this should be reconstructed in honour of the factory, but more importantly, in honour of the people who've died. But as yet, nothing has come of it. Well, I do hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, Thank you very much for watching.